Hello, I am Kathy Adams Clark and I want to thank you very much for joining me on my channel today. Recently, while I was leading a tour in Costa Rica, I was overhearing two of the participants who were helping each other process photos. And one of the participants was showing the other one how to use the auto process feature in Lightroom. We have the same thing in Bridge Adobe Camera Raw. And so I thought I would show you how to do this with a video. So that's what this video is about. If you look at my screen right now, I'm in Bridge and I have photos pulled up from that recent trip. I'm going to highlight two of these photos. They were taken at virtually the same time. And I'm going to double click and open these into Camera Raw. If you're a Lightroom user, you would do the same thing and you would open them into Lightroom's develop module. So on this first photo, and you notice that they're virtually the same, the camera clicked pretty fast. On this first photo, I'm going to go over here to the right and I'm going to click auto. And Adobe is now going to auto process that photo. On the second photo, I'm going to process it the way that I usually do. So the first thing that I do when I process a photograph is I do texture to about 20 or 30 and I do vibrance and I do saturation up to about 20. And this is just a starting point. This is just to start out. And then I look at the histogram and in this case the histogram over on the right hand side goes all the way over to the right showing me that I have all my whites. It goes all the way to the left, showing me that I have all of my blacks, so I don't need to move my black slider or I don't need to move my exposure slider. For me, optically, now we're just going to process on the center sliders. There's a little bit too much brightness on those tail feathers right there, so I'm going to pull down the bright just a slight bit. And then on this breast area, on the resplendent Quetzal, then there's a bit too much shadows. So I'm going to open those up just a bit so that I can pull out that breast. So as a basic processing, I'm pretty much finished with that. You saw when I blew it up, it's got a lot of noise, so there needs some noise reduction, but basic processing. So let's see what Adobe did on auto versus what I did in my processing. So what Adobe did in auto is it moved down a little bit of the exposure it added a bit more contrast. It added a bit of highlights, or excuse me, toned down the highlights just as I did for those tails. It opened up the shadows just a little bit, but not as far as I did. It took the white slider over to 47 and it took the black slider down to um, 23. It didn't change much on uh, temperature at all and it took the vibrance over by um, positive 13 and the saturation down by about 2. It did not do anything with texture. So when you look at the difference between the way that both photos were processed, look at the difference between the way that both photos were processed, they're perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with the way that Adobe did it and there's nothing wrong with the way that I did it you see that it's just a slight bit different. So Adobe has just a little bit more contrast than I do, and I have a little bit more brightness than what the Adobe does. So I introduce you to this auto feature as a way to start your processing if you're really not sure which way to go. So my way of processing, my method, is always to do texture, vibrance, saturation, then look at the left corner of the histogram, the right corner of the histogram. Left corner of the histogram is your black slider, right corner of your histogram is your exposure slider, and then adjust highlights and shadows to taste. That's my method. The Adobe method still comes out with a fairly acceptable photograph. So if you'd like to use this, remember that auto is an option and it can get you going on your processing. Remember also that we can take each one of these photos that we have 
taken at roughly the same time. And if you're a bird photographer like me, you know that we take a lot of photos at the same time many times. We can take all of those photos, double click on them in Adobe Bridge, or double click on them in Lightroom and that takes them into Develop Module. And then we can do an Edit, Select All, and now we can move the sliders for every single one of those images, texture, vibrance, and saturation in my case, and then the highlight and the shadow slider. We can move all the sliders, which processes all of them at the exact same time, batch processing. Or if you want to use the auto method, then simply click on the auto when you have all of those selected. Remember, you have to go up here and do an edit, select all to make sure that all the photos get processed the exact same way. And this really speeds up your processing. So remember to use batch processing. And whether you use my method or this auto method, give them both a try. See how they work. I am Kathy Adams-Clark. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. If you liked this video, click the like button down there below. I appreciate it. Thanks for also watching it all the way through. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button and then that way you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Kathy Adams-Clark. Put comments below and if you've got a comment or a question, I'll answer it. And thank you very much.